Hello. So uh, in this exercise, uh, we will be identifying the handwritten digit with the LeNet neural net model, which is developed by Jan Lee Kun, which is trained on MNIST data. So uh, the first step is to import the training and test data from Wolfram uh, data repository. So we know that we have the function called resource data and we can give MNIST data. And we know this data is broken down into training data and the uh, test data. So we can mention it separately like training data. So that will be available over here. Similarly, we will have the test data from the uh, data repository. And we can mention over here like test data, which will be resource data. And that is coming from MNIST and taking the uh, test data values from the repository. And we know that uh, sorry. So we know that there are like uh, sixty thousand training data points over here and ten thousand images over here. So uh, in the next step, I ask you to look at the random sample uh, seven examples from the training set. So in Wolfram language, we have the function called random sample, which can be called for the training data and we can give it the argument seven so we can get to look at the seven random values coming from the seven data uh, points so we can see that we have an image and it is associated with any digit so this is uh, affiliated with one this is two and the image is uh, correspondingly uh, pre-labeled over here so in the uh, next step i ask you to obtain the pre-trained net model from uh, Wolfram net repository. And as mentioned uh, uh, over here, you can see we have the function name called net model. And I can just pass the uh, name of the model available over here, LeNet train on MNIST data. And I'm saving it into a variable called digit recognition so that I can get the model over here. I can see it has like, almost 11 layers starting from the convolutional layer and ending with the softmax and the output is a class with the dimensions 10 and the vector size of 10 over here. So the next step I ask from you is to perform the testing on the model. So what we, I'm doing over here and what I ask from you is to take a ramble, uh, random sample of the data. So what will happen if you don't uh, pass it? So what would have been happened is you would have a data like this, but I just need the images over here. So I can just uh, take part the first value from it. So I can have these values over here saved in this variable test. And then I can call the same uh, neural net and pass this images into this and see how my test results looks like. And it seems that the uh, model has uh, pretty, is pretty accurate. So in the next uh, section, I ask you to uh, take this image as an input and find the uh, probabilities for this. So basically what I'm doing over here is just saving this image into this variable and then passing it to the neural net and asking for the probability properties. So I can see that the probability of this image to be divided into further classes, what is the probability? probability that this image is from belongs to a certain class is mentioned over here. So in the next uh, section, we can make a classifier measurement object. So to develop a classifier measurement object, we, we know that we have a function in Wolfram language which is called classifier measurements. And I'm giving it the value of the neural net and I want to train it based on my test data. So once I'm able to evaluate this, I'm also saving I'll get the uh, classifier measurement object over here. So once I have the object available, 
I can explore it further to get prop, uh, properties like I can ask the accuracy for this model. So this model is 98.5% uh, accurate. I can also look at the confusion, mat confusion matrix plot. So any property I want to enter over here, I'll just give that into this uh, classifier environment object and it will get me that specific property over here. So in the next next uh, section, what I wanted to do is to get more information about this uh, uh, net. And for the for those who's using uh, version 12.1, uh, they can use the information function, whereas those uh, using prior versions uh, need to use net information uh, function. So here is how I can use the information function, pass it on the neural net, and I can give the property like number of parameters of all the arrays and I can get the uh, arrays, I can get the biases, I can get the uh, weights for each layer. Similarly, if I uh, want to know the total number of parameters, I can just uh, uh, ask the property like arrays total element count and it will give me the total number of parameters used in this net. Similarly, if uh, I have to find out how many layer types are there, I can ask this property of the model and I can see how many layers of each type are available over here. Similarly, by using the summary graphic, I can see the graphical display of this uh, neural uh, net chain of Linet. And in the last section, uh, what I wanted you to learn is how you can then export your uh, neural net to MXNet if required. So uh, you can use the function export. You can give the direction where you want to save this model. You can also assign the name of the uh, JSON file and you can say that, okay, convert into a MaxNet format. And this will give you this detail. So maybe the complete path name you need, you can also expand the complete path name. Similarly, you can also create a not uh, that not uh, params file, which contains all the parameters. So similarly, calling this JSON path file, and then asking the give two properties of the net parameters, and these are then saved into a file called net dot params. So this was the solution of the uh, first exercise I gave it to you, and I want to reference it to. Uh, cool because this is based on the Linet model that he uh, developed. So that was the exercise solution. Thank you.